In this question, we have to compare the impact of expansionary fiscal policy in the goods market with the eyes on a model. Expansion fiscal policy, we're going to work with an increase in government spending. Now, in the goods market, we know an increase in government spending leads to an increase in aggregate spending and an increase in income. In the ISL model, an increase in government spending, yes, leads to an increase in aggregate demand and an increase in income. But it's important to remember in the ISL model, we work with the money market as well. So the increase in income leads to an increase in the demand for money. And if the demand for money increases, then the interest rate will also increase. Now, we can also show this graphically in the goods market. Total spending, aggregate spending and income. And we have an increase in government spending. That, this is shown by an upward shift of the aggregate spending curve and the income level increases. Now, in the ISR model, interest rate on the vertical axis, income on the horizontal axis, we have the I's and alum curves. Now the increase in government spending leads to an increase in aggregate demand shown by this rightward shift of the I's curve. And we see the income level increases and there's an increase in the interest rate. But we have to compare the effect of the increase in government spending in the Keynesian model with the ISL model. Now, in the Keynesian model, what we're actually looking at, what is the effect on the spending components C, I, and G? Now, in the Keynesian model, we see there's an increase in income. An increase in income, how will it affect consumption? Well, consumption is a function of income, therefore, consumption spending will increase. From the question, we know Expansion fiscal policy and increase in government spending, so we know government spending will also increase. In the Keynesian model, investment spending is autonomous. So there's no change in the level of investment spending. But in the ISL model, what is the effect on C, I, and G? Let's start with consumption spending again. Again, there's an increase in income. So therefore, we can say, Consumption spending will also increase in the ISI model. Government spending, well, part of the question, increase in government spending, so we know that government spending will increase. In the ISI model, investment is a function of income and the interest rate. Now, we see that income increases, therefore, investment will also increase because it's a function of income. And interest rate? Well, the interest rate increases. Therefore, investment will decrease. Now, you can see with investment in ISR model, on one hand, because it's a function of income, there's an increase in investment. And then as a result of the increase in interest rate, investment decreases. So we're not sure what will the effect be on investment. Whereas in the Keynesian model, we're sure that because investment is autonomous, there's no change in investment. 